Hello students, looking at current affairs for 6th April, the news items picked up from the Hindu newspaper are these five, all related to COVID-19. Generally on Mondays there is less news because Sunday being a holiday. And the important news items from the Hindu here, first one is, cases doubled in 4.1 days due to Tablighi Jamaat event. So government has said now cases have increased, 505 new cases were detected. So the total confirmed infections in the country is now 3,577 with 274 persons having recovered and 83 deaths so far. So India's death toll has increased and the Home Ministry maintained that the Tablighi Jamaat gathering in Delhi has pushed the doubling of rates in, of cases in India from 4.1 days to 4.1 days from an estimated 7.4 days. So what does this actually mean? We'll see here too. You can see the rate of increase is shown here. So this is based on state government's reports. So you can see here the number of cases from 0 to so number of days is on x-axis, number of cases is on y-axis. So from reaching 55, uh, 500 cases. So we reached 500 cases in 55 days. So gradually we saw one cases emerging and total number of cases went to up to 500 in 55 days. A little less than two months. And after that from 500 to be doubled to 1000, it took only five days. In 5 days, 500 more cases came in. 55 days, 500 cases and then in 5 days, 500 cases. So, it's exponential increase which has been seen. Then from 1000, we went to 2000 in 4 days. So, 4 is the numbers, 1000 more cases in 4 days. And from 2000, doubling it to 4000, the number of cases went up to 4000 in 3 days. So, 2000 more cases came up in 3 days. So, that's what has been shown here. So, number of cases have not reached 4,000, but 3,577. So, so, rate of increase has uh, you know, been high. So, Union Health Ministry also said that till a drug or vaccine is found, social distancing and lockdown are the only available and effective vaccines against SARS-CoV-19. AIMS doctors in Delhi have actually opposed a circular too. There was a... Uh, uh, demand being made of mandatory donations from salaries of doctors at AIMS to PM Cares Fund. So, on this, doctors have opposed. Health Ministry later said that this was fake news. Also, the concerns have been raised by doctors of lack of uh, uh, personal protective equipment, difficulties in traveling faced by healthcare workers too, and lack of sanitation. And they have urged that funds collected as such for helping COVID-19, uh, tackling COVID-19 should be used locally instead of being transferred to a central fund and then be disbursed. So, so this is what they have been highlighting on that problems should be used locally. So, here you can see actually the cases in India have crossed 4,000. So, 3,557 figure, here 577 cases figure has been confirmed. But then adding up is 500 new, 5 new cases. So this is the confirmed infections and 500 5 new cases. So it goes to 4000. You can see India's cases crossed 4000. And this is based on state government reports. So there is a little difference in what the home ministry, central government states as facts and figures, data and what is collated from states. Adding up numbers from all the states. So there are differences. So state uh, central government has been quoting lesser number of infections, deaths and also confirmed cases. So that's what we saw how the number of cases have jumped. The next is rapid antibody testing for hotspots first. So ICMR Indian Council of Medical Research has now said that rapid antibody based blood test for COVID-19 will be deployed in clusters and hotspots showing in incidence of confirmed cases. So this is a blood test, rapid antibody based blood test, but then this is not sufficient. It's not, it does not give complete status. It has to be combined with a nucleic acid test too. So the test which is conducted for COVID-19 is real time reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction test, which is a laboratory technique combining reverse transcription of RNA into DNA. So that is uh, ribonucleic acid into uh, deoxyribonucleic acid. So that these are the nucleic acid tests. So that would be essential. And we have been increasing number of COVID-19 tests to gradually, but rapid antibody blood based blood test has been called for by ICMR. 
Also, contact tracing, it says, is vital for uh, tackling COVID-19. And it has been stated that Arogya Setu app of the central government has enabled contact tracing significantly. So, this is there. Also, there is a study which calls for pooled sampling. Means pooling and pooling samples and testing them. So, this is testing samples from multiple patients. So, a single polymerase chain reaction test will be done. And this such the process has been used earlier too in early stages of HIV epidemic. So, this will reduce the time, the cost and uh, resource utilization. So, community clusters can be identified and targeted public health interventions is possible if pool sampling is done. So, this is what experts say on testing. Then next is nurses move Supreme Court, say health staff illiquid. So, Kerala based 3.8 lakh strong nurses association has approached Supreme Court saying that government has not formulated a national management protocol for COVID-19 to address serious concerns related to imminent and extreme risks posed to the health and safety of medical personnel across the country. So, they say they are under risk because of pathogen exposure, long working hours, psychological distress, fatigue, occupational burnout, stigma and even physical and psychological violence. So, the problems highlighted in the petition include lack of availability or substandard personal protective equipments in numerous hospitals, unavailability of sufficient number of COVID-19 testing kits, lack of training on infection prevention, control and lack of basic facilities in, our, in isolation wards. There is mental harassment in the nature of forced overtime followed by negligible transport facilities and reduction in salaries on account of leaves and healthcare workers who are pregnant, lactating or immune, immune compromised are being forced to work. So, these difficulties have been highlighted by the Nurses Association in the Supreme Court. And association also said that uh, the relief which has been provided under Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Yojana. So, for healthcare workers also there is a package and the nurses association say that this should be extended to all healthcare workers which is not the case presently. So, here you can see the details of Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Yojana which have been announced for tackling COVID-19. So, steps taken by the government, what uh, benefits and you know measures would be taken. So, first one is for those on the front line means uh, medical healthcare staff. So, for them 50 lakh rupees medical insurance will be there. But this is to cover doctors, paramedics and other medical staff, not for all. So, the detail of this is also provided here you can see. For health workers it is uh, covered by it are ASHA workers, paramedics, doctors, nurses, ward boys, technicians, specialists and all frontline workers as well as Safai Kamcharis. So, they have been covered. So, there is a specific list which has been covered. So, the demand is that all healthcare workers should be covered. So, the people working under them too, so they need to be covered as such. Too. Then second is for food security, as, we pro as the government provides under public distribution system 5 kg of food grains per person. So, additional 5 kg would be provided either wheat or rice per person for coming 3 months. Also, 1 kg free dal would be provided per household too for 3 months. And free LPG connection for Ujwala beneficiaries was announced for 3 months. Too. Then for cash in hand, farmers under PM Kisan uh, would be provided rupees 2000. So, PM Kisan scheme you should remember was a scheme to provide 6000 per year cash delivery to farmers. So, through accounts of course. So, this will be the first, uh, it is done in 3 uh, phases of, on, over the year. So, first 2000 will be provided in 10, 10 days is what the government had promised. Also, MGNREGS wages have been increased from 182 rupees to 202 rupees. But though MGNREGS work has been stalled presently, so how this would benefit is not known. Then, Jandhan account holders will also get, there are around 200 million women Jandhan account holders. They would get rupees 500 per month in the account for next three months. Also, ex gratia to senior citizens, widows and disabled, well, the poor senior citizens, widows and disabled would be of rupees 1000. And collateral free loans have been announced for women's welfare groups up to rupees 20 lakh. For organized sector also some steps were taken. 
so this was uh, government will contribute employee provident fund to companies with less than 100 workers so epf for these months will be uh, provided by the government contribution for both employer and employee will be provided and non refundable advances of 75% or 3 month wages from provident fund account can be made means you can remove money from your provident fund account but these will be non refundable advances this is it is 75% uh, advance or 3 months wages and for construction workers also states will use 31000 31000 crore construction workers welfare fund for for welfare of construction workers and also district mineral fund would be used for medical activities by states then next is test treatment free under ayushman bharat so the central government has decided to provide free testing and treatment of covid 19 under ayushman bharat scheme so designated private hospitals across the country will provide free testing and treatment so more than 50 crore ayushman beneficiaries are expected to benefit from it so this is regarding pradhan mantri ayushman bharat which is also known as pradhan mantri jan arogya yojana so cover of 5 lakh per family per year is uh, promised under this also uh, number of uh, families you know which are covered are around 10.74 crore who are invulnerable from families so this is uh, based on socio-economic census data socio-economic caste census data there's no cap on family size or age in this also states have been given flexibility to decide on mode of implementation benefits are portable across the country too and number of families identified, 85% are uh, of rural families have been identified and 60% of urban families. And was an, announced on 25th September 2018, which was the birth anniversary of Pandit Deen Dayal Padhyay. So, how this financing for Ayushman Bharat scheme will come, it is provided here, you can see. So, 22% of the overall financing for health insurance comes from government. 67% of health expenditure in the country, health insurance in the country is from household, out of pocket expenditure. Then there is private health insurance and local bodies and other schemes which are a small percentage. So health insurance penetration in India is quite low, even average amount per claim is around 25,000 rupees. So number of policies issued, number of claims made and lives covered are provided. Ayushman Bharat scheme, what are the benefits here? You can see it is providing for as we saw 10.74 crore means 10 uh, means this is 100 million. So 100 million families would be beneficiaries, 5 lakh would be provided per family, and it will be based on socio economic caste census data. Funding is 60 40, 60 percent by the center, 70 40 percent by the states, and it will be merged with other state schemes because state also have these health insurance schemes, so it can be merged with those schemes. And many states uh, resisted this scheme saying that they have their own state level schemes but then many states came on board too, UTs came on board, uh, the latest one being Delhi which has also in, uh, decided to implement Ayushman Bharat scheme. So this scheme would be implemented through private sector, through an insurance company or a trust, society, etc. And it will be driven by strategic purchasing from private sector. So health benefits would be provided through, health services would be provided through private sector. So there are foreseeable challenges also in this scheme. Uh, so there may be concerns which have also been seen of host beneficiaries being registered, impersonation, in connivance with card holders and hospitals, even conversion of OPD patients can be done into IPD patients and this scheme may be misused. There can be deliberate blocking of higher priced package you know, and treatment of diseases which a hospital is not equipped for you may also be given. So, doctors uh, may perform unnecessary procedures to and, you know, uh, and claim Ayushman Bharat money. Hospitals may charge fees even though it's a cashless scheme. So, actually it's a cashless scheme. Uh, mem family members have been given cards, Ayushman Bharat cards. They don't have to pay any money. And the last news is India bans export of hydroxychloroquine. So, India has changed its official policy. The earlier policy on this was given by Director General of uh, Foreign Trade on 25th March 2020 when the 21-day lockdown was announced. It had prohibited the export of the drug hydroxychloroquine. So this is a drug 
for uh, malaria treatment, but which has been found effective against COVID-19. So it has been used uh, to fight COVID-19 and India had uh, brought in an official policy prohibiting its export. So the Director General of Foreign Trade prohibited its export, but then it gave an option of export uh, as such in cases like uh, when you have to fulfill export obligation or on humanitarian grounds. But now a new notification has come from Director General of Finance, uh, Foreign Trade on April 4, 2020, which says that these exceptions no longer apply. So complete ban on export of hydroxychloroquine has been put into effect. And this is just as before US President Donald Trump urged PM Narendra Modi to release the quantity of hydroxychloroquine drug that, drug that US has ordered. So US had also ordered, but now it seems it will not be uh, dispatched because India says it will not export hydroxychloroquine even after even against full advance payment because the country needs the supplies to fight COVID-19 as such. So that is it. Thank you.